graphic body camera footage shows the moment a Las Cruces police officer fired his weapon, killing 45 year old Teresa Gomez earlier this month. Thank you for joining us for KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Andy Morgan. That video is so tough to watch. And now the family of Gomez speaking out. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us in the studio tonight with what police and family have to say. Shelby. Andy and Natasia, the family of Teresa Gomez calling for improved training for Las Cruces police officers. The police department giving a warning regarding the body camera footage of that shooting. Viewer discretion is advised. What you're about to watch will likely be troubling. You will see things that are hard to watch and hear the officer speak in a way that is difficult to listen to. I strongly suggest viewer discretion. Stop! Stop! Hey, shots fired! Shots fired! Las Cruces Police Department body camera footage shows the officer approaching a car with two people inside. In the video, you can see the passenger pull a paintball gun out of his waist, but the officer asked only the driver, Teresa Gomez, to get out. Once Gomez is out of the vehicle, she is reluctant to give the officer her full name. Again, what is Nice. Yes, what's your name? Gomez asks to get back in the vehicle while the officer takes down information. The officer agrees, but Gomez then starts the vehicle and begins to back up. And that's when shots are fired. The interim police chief asked about the protocol when it comes to shooting at a person who is fleeing. Protocol is, is a deceptive term because unfortunately the world we live in is very complex. And when you change one factor that can change the decision and the, the reasonableness of a decision. Um, generally speaking, officers use deadly force to prevent someone who's fleeing when that person poses a significant threat of death or serious bodily harm to the officers or others that's ongoing. The family of Teresa Gomez sending pictures of her and a statement that reads in part, quote, the tragedy of her unnecessary violent death at the hands of a poorly trained police officer will cause suffering to her loved ones for the remainder of their lives. Shots fired, shots fired. The Las Cruces Police Department would not give the name of the officer as they say he has not yet been interviewed and the investigation is still ongoing, but say he has been placed on administrative leave. Andy, Natasia. Shelby, thank you for that report. Meanwhile, an 